It oh. really was. Mm. I fucking hate Dr. Laura. God, do I hate that bitch. Are you, are you uh, taking that tack on this one? Because I'm kind of with her on this. Hate her. I'm with her on this one. I'm, I'm not with her on a free speech issue. I hate her guts. Oh, okay. You could hate her. She's not a likable person. And by the way, what she's saying is how she wants her free speech back. Hey, unless you've been fired and people aren't telling you that, you have your free speech. Mm. I see what she means, though. You can't say anything without at least being persecuted and called uh, uh, things and, and being accused of being this and that and the other thing. I think it's, uh, I, I think it's good. I don't good. Like She's stepping off. You know what? She's stepping out before it gets to the point. It would look silly if she's getting fired and she goes, well, I'm quitting radio. It's like, well, you got fired. She's actually leaving without anyone firing her. It's like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't like the way people are um, talking about me. She absolutely has a right to say what the fuck she wants. And uh, not not catch this kind of shit from special interest groups. So. Then she should attack them on her show. Then how about you go on your show, and and, and then if they fire you, you go kicking can. and she screaming. Said, she says they're, they're held hostage for, for sponsors. She said the sponsors get uh, uh, hammered. The uh, broadcast company that owns your show gets hammered. She can't just sit there and, and rip apart the people that come in and attack you. We've been in that boat before. Then it does end in your firing because you don't seem contrite enough. So she's saying, fuck this, I'm leaving. Well, she's going to go to some other venue where she has the ability to say what she wants. She's got enough money. She's a cunt. And I really, really despise this one. I don't believe her. Like, it's yeah. not that, I, I don't think she should get fired at all. Mm -hmm. But I just don't fucking believe, I think well, she's a fucking phony. I don't know. I think, and I think uh, that I'm she loved a, saying it. And again, doubt. fine, I'm, I don't have a problem with that. But I, I think that she's being disgusting and phony because I think that she was trying to say it. I, I've always hated her guts. I really yeah. I have a thing for her. I can't I'm going to give her the her. benefit of the doubt on this one. Can, can we back up, though? Is she in trouble Ooh. of uh, being fired over this? Uh, there, there were some people that she's were very angry. She's weathering the storm, isn't she? I guarantee you Media Matters is after those facts. Yeah, yeah but that, doesn't sound like it's an black, IMA situation where it's, where, it's, where it's growing. It's, it's, calm, it's calmed down I'm confused by her because I don't think she's going to get fired over this. So why doesn't she go on the air and, and, and make her point? She doesn't have to say nigger again, but why not make her point and go, you know what? The NAACP is contacting my sponsors. Um, why? Because she has 8 million listeners a week. Mm. When you have that kind of juice, how about you say fucking... Oh, don't bring the juice into it. <laughs> well, Jimmy, come on. She was just talking. But how about you ask your people to hit back at any advertisers that walk away from you? I mean, like, literally, she has a tremendous... She has a lot more people listening to her than they're going to be able doesn't, to galvanize against doesn't her. doesn't matter. You've been through this enough times to know that doesn't matter. None of that doesn't matters. Matter. You're, the, the amount of listeners you have, the passion of your listeners, it, it means nothing when you're dealing with a corporate fucking... Uh, uh, entity that will cave in under any pressure by a uh, fucking uh, group, especially when race is involved. I don't know about Do you remember our homeless Charlie thing? XM wanted yeah. to fire us. I remember sitting out. For 30 days. <laughs> yeah. Here's why I think eventually we didn't totally get fired. Because there was somebody pushing back. Debbie and that People's Against Censorship thing, these fucking message boards mock them, like, oh, I'd be sick of fan. They saved our fucking jobs, because they were the only ones who would, like, go on those shows when Sharp would be on, and bashing, oh, they're racist, and that, they mm. had a voice pushing I, back. Uh, I, I think I that disagree. was part of it. I think it, it was a it was, huge part uh, of it. I think part of it was we nope. were still on K-Rock. Nope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because if we didn't have Eric Logan in our corner, we were fired. Yeah, it didn't matter. Hugh Panera yep. wasn't sitting at home watching uh, Happy Typing Girl on CNN going, no. you know, she's making a good point and pushing back for us. I'm not talking about that. I'm not saying Hugh Panero. I'm saying K-Rock was going to dump us because we started uh, to lose. K-Rock wasn't going to dump us. After we lost that fucking showboat thing, that sponsorship. K-Rock was uh, not dumping us. I don't. Because it, it, it didn't happen on the airwaves. They were looking at that as an opportunity at the time. Like, oh, fuck, because they wanted us full time. I yeah. think K-Rock. They were taking true. advantage of that going, God, this is good for us because it didn't happen on our airwaves yeah i didn't see it happen in that way after uh i think the only thing that helped us or the main thing was somebody was pushing back there were protests outside o and a fans were protesting all of that I, gave just a voice in the opposite direction i would like to think that's uh, possible but i don't think i don't think these uh, douchebag managers no know, no pay that never, close attention to it i, I don't i would like to faith. believe what you're saying jimmy but I, in my yep. heart i don't believe it. i think yep. that they were ready to walk k-rock man we lost i thought our careers were over when we lost that fucking we had oh, a tom ac Chisano, show tom chisano sat down with me and Ant very early on in that whole thing and said we're fucking behind you guys it didn't happen on our airwaves. That was his big headline. We don't care. It didn't happen here. But even though it didn't, you're right. 
But the bottom, even though it he didn't was happen there, it cost he, them money. At the at that point, yeah. he, he was hoping to grab us away from uh, satellite and have us full time. Didn't yeah. work out that way, obviously. But at uh, the time, we sat down. I mean, I don't know if you were in that no, meeting. No, they hated me. K Rock hated me. <laughs> but Fuck they, them. They sat us down right away and said, "We're we're you know we're we're all in here because it didn't happen on uh, on our airwaves." But uh, when when that when they started losing money, if advertisers would have pulled out, K Rock would have would have walked away. Because it was all about that. They just didn't lose any advertisers because it didn't happen. But once that fucking one pin fell, we all thought everything else was going to come after well, that. Well, that kind of makes the point now, doesn't it? What? It kind of makes the point that when shit like this happens, uh, you get that domino effect. and you, But before you know it, you're out the fucking door. And Dr. Laura is saying, fuck this. I don't need that shit. But people pushing back helps because you never hear that. Like when Imus was getting in trouble, nobody pushed back. It, you're right. Nobody were afraid. But we Imus's have... fans aren't like our fans. Our fans are degenerates who can go out there and fucking, you know, hold up signs. Imus's fans were, you know, not going to get out there and and uh, and defend nappy headed hoes. But they could have uh, defended lines, his right that, to free line. speech, or they could have defended something. People and... did. They came out and said it. There, were, there was a constant. Uh, Debate on on television between people that said he has the right to say it. I don't. I don't think um, he should have been fired. But the biggest voice was the people that were playing the race card, and they were the ones with the coverage. And you know how the news gets the feeding frenzy. They see which way uh, the the it's tipping, and they'll they'll go on to that side and try to fucking beat the shit out of you. But people again, people pushing back and saying, "Look, it's satellite radio. It's supposed to be uncensored." Those things were being said. We weren't allowed to say them, and it just helped to have somebody saying them. When people see a pushback, it helps a lot, but you never see that because the people who are getting fired, yeah, the fans just kind of like, ah, eh, it happens. I'm telling you, people see that. It means something. There was a big pushback for um, Sex for Sam. We were at the fucking pinnacle. We had a lot of shit going on. Yeah. They got thrown right the fuck out of our asses, and no one wanted to hear it. They didn't want to fucking hear yeah, it. Yeah, there is a there is a major pushback by the fans. There's uh, it, I don't I have any faith in management yeah, when it comes I'm to so with you. when it comes to the audience pushing back. They just go fuck it. To right. them, they don't care. They don't see an audience. They they look at fucking spreadsheets. They look at who's complaining. They see the path of least resistance. And if it's lopping off people's heads, that's it. You 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 said it. The path of least resistance, and that's always the ones complaining are always the least resistant. A resistance, but when there are two sides fighting it, it just helps. I'm not saying, but to me, that I remember that, and I remember seeing on the news there was footage of fans outside protesting, breaking their satellite. Look, it was a little dramatic, but at least it said like this is a bullshit thing that's happening, and you normally don't see that from fans. I, I would like to think that that helped. I, I certainly I know, would, I would, but too. I, I've I I've experienced could. management way too fucking for way too fucking long. Yeah. Way too fucking long. Yeah, I have no faith in them actually looking at the bigger picture like that and, and making a decision based on a show's popularity, context of the comment, this, that, it, whether the interest group is legitimate or just fucking troublemakers. Uh, I, I, they don't see enough. They don't care enough. They're not as involved in it and invested in it as we are right. and as the fans are. Uh, so they'll pull the plug in a second. When I say and I say fan pushback, I don't mean they care about the listeners. Mm -hmm. I mean they look at it from this is a piece of our base, and it's a financial interest. It's mm -hmm. they whenever they hear advertisers complaining or special interest groups, they only hear it's going to cost us money. They don't give a fuck about anything other than it's going to cost them money. When they think it might cost them money to make the other decision, because they see a pushback, they realize, oh, this could cost us money as well. That's why it gives them pause. It's not about them caring about mm -hmm. the fans. They don't. I don't know. The costing money thing, too, is, is all relative. When you, you get a, a company that will hire David Lee Roth for millions of dollars, have him on for a couple of months, and then pay out the rest of his contract, mm -hmm. you get people that just go, well, it's the cost of doing business. So, do you remember when Letterman apologized? He apologized after that first advertiser pulled out. Mm -hmm. That was when Letterman came out and apologized for the Palin comment. It was after, uh, it was some online, it wasn't even a gigantic sponsor. But when they pulled out, he saw what was about to happen, which was the advertisers were going to start going. Mm -hmm. And he fucking came out, yeah, blah, 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 you know, because once that happens, you're fucked. Yeah. The whole situation with K-Rock, they lost one sponsorship because we, we were supposed to do a poker uh, yeah. tournament. Yeah. But they were able to tell the rest of the advertisers, relax, that this did not happen on our right. airwaves. And that's the only reason 
we weren't fired uh, by K-Rock. It had nothing to do with the fans. It just didn't. Um, it, I, I, it just didn't. I don't agree. I, I would love to think that that matters, but I've sat in front of these suits for well over 20 years. They're a bunch of douchebags in the end. They, they really are. are. Uh, but I'm not saying they they're really not. They are. They're terrible. When we got fired for sex for Sam, they, they, had, they had a million reasons to keep us. Our ratings were ridiculous. Yeah. We were number one by far, bringing in shitloads of fucking money. And yeah. they fucking didn't even try to fucking save no. us. They didn't even try. And we were never hotter than we were in that period and, of time with this radio show. And that was a lot of money in advertising that they lost based on their own decision. Not even based on the sponsors pulling. By them pulling us, they pulled every sponsor we had. Do you remember watching those shows? There was not one person sticking up for the show. That's what I'm saying. There was and, not on all you'd hear and is these guys bashing the show and not right, one right, voice in the other right. direction. And that was management. They chose not to fucking do anything. Yeah. They yeah. chose not to hire a, a PR company or something to to get their message out there. They chose to just bail on us and I'm telling you we were massively successful. Dude, I remember. We we had something like a 30 or 35 uh, share in Cleveland. Yeah. You, don't, you just don't get rid of that in radio. Yeah. They certainly did, though. That was a first. And the fans were out there <laughs> protesting and doing everything they could, and God bless them, and I hope they continue doing that for us. But I have no faith in management. Mm -hmm. I lost my faith in management the day they fired us uh, for the Sex for Sam. Yeah. Thing. Well, I lost all faith because they didn't even sit down and try to figure it out at all. But faith in management, I agree with you. I have none of them either. None. None. They're not creative people. They're not. Most of the times, I don't. I didn't find them to be people with integrity. Or mm. I'm only thinking of them looking at their own self-interest and what makes a person examine what's in my best interest. A lot of times, they won't even do that though. They'll they'll the proverbial cut their nose off to spite their face. Uh, they'll they'll fire us, even though firing us will cost them a fuck of a lot more money. They paid us to sit on our ass for two right. fucking years. Right. That costs money. They paid us while we were bringing in no revenue for two fucking years. Every sponsor could have pulled but one. And they still would have made more money than they would have made having made the decision to let us go. But it wasn't... Do you remember that the push was not just K-Rock? I'm sorry, uh, NEW. Because it was Infinity owned by Viacom... They were threatening all the advertisers for all the other people under the fucking corporate umbrella. So it was a financial decision. Yeah, but still, how They're, effective would that have been if they were so smart in knowing where the money was and how effective these interest groups are? Wouldn't they have just said, fuck it, then nothing's going to materialize of this. They're if they were smart, lose. yeah, but they're dummies. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah. They are dummies. They're dummies, and they, they can't be uh, looked at. To, to back a show or back a personality. And that's why I think what Dr. Laura's doing is, is great. Good for her. Jack Tell Cafferty him. didn't get fired. Well, you know what? Jack Cafferty didn't. Who yeah, else yeah. did they just weather the storm recently, too? Who just had a thing it's where they... It's very hard to fire a, somebody like Jack Cafferty, like Hannity. Uh, it's very hard to fire uh, people that are basing their shows on political opinion right, right. and things because that really looks like you're infringing on the First Amendment rights of people. Uh, comedy shows, entertainment programs, whole nother fucking animal. Who, you could dump them. But who just... Um, I'm trying to remember. I, uh, somebody just weathered yeah. a storm. I hate to say it like that. Yeah. And, and we even nothing said, happened. And we even said, look, this is what you yeah. should do. Just hang in there and, and people go away. Right, right. It was a Reverend Al thing, wasn't it? Okay. See, there's a... Uh, well, it, there was the cartoonist in the Post... The right. Reverend Al went right, after right, 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 nothing right. happened, and 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 the Post uh, just said go fuck yourself. Base they basically told Reverend Al to go fuck them, you know yes. himself, and Reverend Al had to just walk away. He what, just faded into the woodwork. What happens is they, but there was somebody else recently too, and we said just hang in there and and, right. and everything will be okay. These guys all watch the same talking head shows we do. These dummies that make these decisions, and again when they see four people killing a show. And no pushback. When, they, when there's somebody there making a point and it's a debate, it's a lot... Because they're dumb. They're watching right. the same things that we're watching at mm -hmm. home. Remember we were watching fucking Grease Man and all yeah. these other people just bad mouth. And the only person speaking up for this show was Psycho Mark and we made fun of it. But that <laughs> right. was it. Right. At least he gave it a shot. There was for no us. voice. He, at least he gave it a yeah. shot, you know? Yeah. I mean, going back to the homeless Charlie thing, XM wanted to fire uh. us. Eric Logan was big time in our corner. Yeah. Hugh Panera wanted us fired so badly. I, I mean, know he did. I can't even tell you how many phone calls he...